It gives me immense pleasure to be in this beautiful city of Arua on a beautiful day like this. I was last in West Nile about three months ago when I, when I, when I went to Mario Kolo. This is my, this is my sister-in-law. Stand up, uh, Joanna. And this. Come, come, come. This is my sister-in-law, Honorable Joanne Okia. She represents uh, woman MP. Uh, woman MP? No. Uh, Madi Okolo. But she's a part of the family. She marries my, my brother, my brother called uh, Dr. Okia. So we have we have connections with West Nile. Th thank you so much, Joanne. We, we had gone to Madio Kolo to open her radio station, and the other MPs were also there. The, the, the area MP and others also came for that very colorful occasion, uh, function. So it is, back, it is a pleasure to be back in this beautiful part of the country, and especially on this occasion of a sports tournament. Let me thank all the districts of West Nile that participated in this uh, 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 tournament, all of them, 13 districts in total, Arua City, Arua District, Madio Kolo, Yumbe, Maracha, Koboko, Terego, Ajumani, Moyo, Obongi, Nebi, Pakwach and Zombo districts. Thank you all for your participation. Congratulations to the winners, the winners of the football, Arua City. Congratulations. And the winner of the netball, which is Nebi, I believe. However, we are all winners. We are all winners. All those who participated are winners. Of course, sports helps with our health. The more active you are, the more you avoid certain diseases that come with the lack of exercise. So it's good to be active and it's good to have tournaments like this. Sports is also obviously an economic activity. I'm sure all these young people here know, those who follow the English Premier League, you know all those players out there who make a lot of money simply by doing something they love which is football. Sports is also a unifying factor. It unifies us. When Uganda Cranes is playing, there is no political party, there is no language, there is no region. We are all Ugandans supporting our team. And I'm sure it's the same case here when Undu Paraka Football Club or Arua Hill Football Club is playing. You're all united as West Nile. Of course, West Nile is known for many sporting uh, personalities over the years. Many sons and daughters of West Nile have been great sportsmen. I'll mention just a few. Leo Ad Adra, who played for Uganda Cranes and later became our head coach. I think he's now coaching Ondu Paraka. Sadiq Waswa, 
who was in uh, KCC Football Club and uh, won the Sikafa Trophy with Uganda, uh, with Uganda Cranes. Charles Letty, a former Cranes player also. Mike Letty, Robert Aloro, Chiwa Faustino, and many other, of course, Dokas Inzikuru, who won the World and Commonwealth titles and many others. The list is long. I mention all this because I want to encourage the young people to use their talent to achieve greatness, whatever those talents are. As I said, when I uh, handed over my last office of Commander Land Forces, I intend to focus on the youth and youth activities like this, like sports. We pledge to work with government to ensure that the interests of the youth are uh, uh, taken care of. But government is already doing a lot of things in sports. I will mention just a few. Because of time, uh, government is paying the salaries of Uganda cranes and the female counterparts, the crested cranes. Government is paying their salaries. <laughs> government now gives FUFA 10 billion shillings annually for their activities. Government is already financing all the other 55 sporting uh, uh, um, umbrella bodies. Government is currently refurbishing Mandela Sports Stadium in Nambole, and that job is being done by our own UPDF Engineering Brigade. So the President has put a lot of effort into this area, the area of sports, and we need, we need to support him. And I thank groups like Team Chairman, who are supporting our government in, the, in, this, uh, in the sporting field. I have had all the issues, of course, of West Nile. I knew some of them already, the roads, the, the power, and so forth. Uh, I, you might, some people might you know, know, I was, I was in, in Nebi, Nebi for six, six months, months in 2020. 2020. So, so I know, I know that, that road very well, well and I, I know, know it's, it's, uh, it, needs it needs to be, to be worked, worked on. on. And, and some, some of these, these other issues, issues that, that you raised. raised. I, shall, I, shall, I, shall I shall carry them back, back to, the, to president. the president. So, so with, with those, those few words, words and in and conclusion, conclusion, I want to thank the people of West Nile for this very warm reception. I really appreciate and thank you for the love and support, and please keep it up. I congratulate the winners again of the MK tournament, and thank all the organizers. Thank all the organizers for the time and effort they put into this. They just informed me to come for for, the fi for this, uh, the finals, everything else they did by themselves. I did not participate in any way in, in, in organizing this. They did it themselves out of the goodness of their hearts. With those few words, God bless you all.
keep safe. I think the, the activities will continue, but stay safe and make sure you get home safely this evening. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together for our four-star general, Muhozi Kainerugawa. I request we remain standing. <laughs> <laughs> okay.